<laughs> let's create a memory diagram for this code. We have the main function and then we have a get array function that returns a pointer. First thing to do is to create the stack and by looking at the method we have an integer and another integer pointer so we need at least eight bytes so each of these lines makes a byte and we know that a byte has eight bits so when main loads, say that, that we get this much memory. So we need four, one, two, three, four slots for size. And then we are making up some memory number. Say that's 4,001, 4,002, 4,003. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. <clears throat> so we need to store the number 10. All of these are zeros for the first byte because we're dealing with a small number. And the last byte one, zero, one, zero, the last byte has the binary value 10. We also need four bytes for the number array. So I'll just point to it like that. And right now it points to nothing. So it may be all zeros. So let's assume that they're all zeros. I won't write all the zeros. We create the heap. So this one points to some zero address so that it doesn't harm anything. The heap would of course continue over here, but zero is harmless in C++. So, what else do we need? That's all. So this right here is snapshot of memory when main loads. So let's see how the memory looks when get array is called so let's say get array function is called again we need to create the stack Let me erase this piece over here. Okay. So this is a stack. Let's create the heap. Obviously, we're running out of space here if we map all the main and the get array. So we are simply going to say that since we mapped main in the previous snapshot, we're going to say that this is frame for main. Frame is a block of memory. Now, get array is called. So let's say that get array gets this piece of memory so we, we need at least eight bytes
So let's say that it gets this chunk. Of course, it's understood that mainframe also gets a big block, but since we're running out of real estate, we, we don't show it all. And we need space for an int size right here, int size, and then we need space for point array. So we need at least eight bytes. So just like we did four, this is 4,000. I don't know, let's say that this is 4,500. We're just making it up. So right here, one, two, three, four, this would be size. And then another four, one, two, three, four. This would be the pointer to an array. And then the statement runs. So it's, let's say it's going to point two. We'll just make up some memory location in the heap. What do we say heap started at over here? We didn't say. So let's say maybe it starts at 7,000. I don't know. We're just making it up. So this is maybe 7,000, 7,500. 8,000, say this pointer points to 7,500. And then we return the pointer array. We return the pointer array. So how do we denote that right here? Returns pointer array. So for now, let's say snap shot of get array before it returns. Obviously, now we need to do get array. returns so let's map that we create the stack and we create the heap and we have some And then we have some bytes over here. So we're saying that main gets this block and the memory for get array has been released, right? So get array memory released in this snapshot however we need to map the variables we know we need it one two three four this was four size and then one two three four this was four number array number array points to memory location 7500 so it points to 7500 size of course has 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and all of these would be 0 8 zeros per byte Okay, so it's important to understand that since the array has 10 units, then and their number, so it would be 
10 spots times 4 bytes equals to 40. So at least 40 bytes I would need to store the integers. So this might go somewhere over here, but you don't have to map that. Okay, so sorry, I meant to put this over here, right here. So this is snapshot of memory when get array function returns. So now let's do delete number array is called. So we write that down here. Delete array is called in main. So again, let's draw the stack and let's draw the heap. And we said that this was memory 4,000 and 7,000, okay. 4,000, 7,000, we know that 7,500 is pointed to by something. So we still have main here, the main memory, the memory for main. We call that the frame, right? The frame for main. And then we still have four bytes for size and then we still have one two three four four bytes for number array we still have that however when the lead is called we don't no longer point so the so no, we no longer point to something uh, so the pointer is not there, some value would be here, some value would be here. You don't have to put that in the assignment, I just want to make sure that you understand how pointers work. So this is the snapshot of memory when delete number array right so let's make sure we correct this number array is called delete number array called this would have some address location we'll just make up numbers here actually four bytes right but we don't care so now we are at this statement so let's map it to when number array equals null number array equals null is called so we draw the stack And we draw the heap. We'll draw some lines here. And this is 7500. 
this is 4,000 we have some bytes here and let's say that this is the frame for main and of course the first four bytes still belong to size and one two three four the first four bytes still belong to number array and this had some values here however it is important to know that when delete is called it no longer points the pointer no longer points to anything which is what we want to avoid the dangling pointer of course this is still zero zero oops let me that's important to understand and over here the value would still be the same and these are all zeros eight zeros and eight zeros there okay and of course since this is pointing to nothing it will be zero okay so now this is snapshot of memory when number array equals null and finally we are at the last statement return zero so return zero and function or program and and we draw the stack for that and we draw the heap some bytes there program and stack and heap memory released and that's the solution to this problem